can thread one through to Edwards, he comes back to Flores. Cozy at Dewsbury out to the left hand side, but he shoots and scores. Arsenal's season is up and running with a fabulous goal from Marcello Flores. Flores pulling away to the left, Cozy at Dewsbury, an option that he opts to use. Arsenal looking really threatening here, this man in particular, Flores, goes between a few challenges, still the ball glued to his right foot, plays the one-two, it's still Flores, it's Edwards, and it's two for Arsenal. It's a brilliant move, and Flores at the heart of it, constantly involved, a lovely one-two, before sliding it to Edwards, Arsenal double their lead, and there could be more to come. Arsenal with players high up the field, including Flores, who's been impressive throughout. And Marcello Flores gets another goal. He's second of the game. A celebration we might see a bit more of this season based on today's performance. Arsenal restore their two-goal lead. In the option down the line, Sweet wants it back. He's got Flores in field, Marcello Flores, who's on a hat-trick. And still Marcello Flores, there is the hat-trick. Three goals of unbelievable quality. A day to remember for the Arsenal number 10. And his third, again, was brilliant skill. And then a composed finish. Flores. Ambris. Devolución para el 10. Viene Flores. Lo marca Otegui. Centro de Rabona. No. Sí, más volcado a la derecha ahora Flores. Un lujo, ¿no? Un jugador de, de, de primer nivel. Nice few touches from Marcelo Flores before a spin move in there as well. Arsenal have had the most joy during this first half and Flores has got Cozy Adjubri to the left and this could be a chance for the number 11. It's Flores seeing plenty of the ball and Norwich totally aware of his threat as he finds Edwards who goes around Truman. Flores away from Wormlater. Porque obligó a México a esto. Flores se mete al área, saca al centro. Darting in field, it's a 1 2 and it's a chance for Edwards, and Arsenal are in front. Swept over by Henry Francis. Time on the left hand side. And time to get across in, and the cross is a good one. It's a really good save from Joe Whitworth. Está muchas veces las posiciones. Uno queda de pistón, el otro se libera al revés. Mucha por infusionalidad entre Mariscal y Ambris en el mediocampo azteca. Qué bien Marcelo. Vean cómo sale entre dos. Se quita después la. Jugando perfil cambiado, la juega para Marcelo Flores. Vamos a ver a Marcelo, se va a meter al área aquí su calidad. ¡Le pegó! ¡Gol! Ya no. Va al servicio, flotadito, el remate de cabeza, golazo. Ante la marca de Ferreira, bailotea Flores con la pelota. Engancha hacia el medio, sigue Flores, el derechazo. Y ahí, gol de México. Gol de México, lo hizo Marcelo Flores. Y ojo con esta con Campos. Basta la línea de fondo atrás con Flores. Puede venir Flores, gol de México. Doing well to stay on his feet. And it's Flores and Arsenal equalise. They were behind for just four minutes before a decisive move down the left-hand side. Away from Carsley, and it's Flores, and it's still Flores, and he's back off the post, and Edwards offside. West Ham giving possession away, straight to Ibrahim. In turn, he finds Flores. Flores looking to feed Edwards, who is beyond his man, and Edwards in for Arsenal, who take the lead. Players in Arsenal colours starting to join him as Sweet finds Flores. Options either side. Flores shoots, it's saved, it's Sago Jr. to... Breaking up a rare Spurs attack, the ball with Flores, and look at the space ahead of him. And that could spell danger for Spurs, such a talented player. With Kayon Edwards, the only real player up in support, and he slipped it through to Kayon Edwards. This could be a chance, that's a brilliant save. Curling a ball over the top, and Flores will just about get there first. He's got Brian War in front of him. Twisting, turning shot, saved by Gunter. 
Marcello Flores, the ability to go either way, and he twisted and turned. The Spurs defence didn't know what to do. Flores sliding one in, Sego Jr. Gets his shot in, saved by Gunter at the near post and nearly over the line from... Jubri will bring Sweet into play. And it's his ball in and it's Flores arriving on Arsenal back in front. Just three minutes since Palace the equaliser much. On it goes towards Beardeth. Another promising opportunity. Flores! That'll do. Side here's Henry Francis. Could get even worse for the visitors. Could get even better for Arsenal. Oh, off the line. Yeah. Back in Arsenal possession, Sego Junior Flores. There's just an inch of space, and that's enough for the shot. The cannons back off the bar. Sweet and Flores combined ink. We know what Flores can do, even in these tight areas as he twists and turns. And the into Flores, space here. And that could be important for Arsenal as he finds the run of Edwards. Scott. Raymond is possessed by his fellow number 10, Marcelo Flores. Flores looks to the left and Cozy Jubri spotting the eyes of Flores making the run. The ball in at the near post and it was Karen Edwards arriving. Flores, qué bueno es este número 10. Arranca Flores, cambia de frente. Qué buena pegada, le puso la pelota con ventaja. Punto de pellizcar esa pelota, estaba Ignacio Sosa. La tiene Marcelo Flores. Ahí va el rodeo de Flores. Ibrahim poking the ball to Flores. Looking up, he's Arsenal's playmaker and he's ping one out to the far side. Another chance for Arsenal to come forward here on the left hand side. David Bertang has some defending to do. Still the chance, opens for the shot. In the end, it's short. It's worked really well. And it's the opening goal. Marcelo Flores for Arsenal. Meanwhile, going forward, look at the pace here, running through the middle. It's Kozia Dubry again, found by uh, Marcelo Flores. Bennett and straight to Hutchinson and on it goes to Flores and up towards Beardeth. Underneath it, heading it back across, Beardeth and there's Flores and just like that, Arsenal take the lead. Well, into feet of Flores, who's just able to shrug off the defenders and roll it into the path of Beardeth. It and Kozia Dubri has the pace to then get in behind. Well, Flores is really enjoying himself out there today. He carries it from one side of the penalty area to the other. He's still in possession. Marcelo Flores, they can't get the ball off him at the moment. And Flores, who's twisting and turning, trying to find the opening. Kozia Dubri. There's a chance now for Flores to make it four. And he obliges to the second of the game. It's even more impressive. That celebration. Hutchinson into the box. Flores. Can he score? Lifts it over the keeper. And there's one goal back for Arsenal. Well, here's Flores. He's got support on his left hand side. It's James Inca running through. Cleared off the line. His debut for the Baggies as a 15 year old. Made his Premier League debut at 16. So, very support though. It's a really nice first touch by Inca. Might break now for Hutchinson. Lines up a strike. For the under 18s, and he's fed the ball out to Marcello Flores over on the Arsenal left, looking to cut in on his right foot. Then, muy importante. Y ahí se viene México otra vez con su número 10, que es una pesadilla. Flores lo pone a correr a González y puede venir ahí. Se viene Escarone, ahí va Gusto. El 10 contra el 10, gana el de México, que es Flores. Sigue Flores, engancha. Pudo conectar Campos, pero persiste el peligro porque la tiene Flores. Va a encarar por enésima vez el 10. Le gusta más un mano a mano a Flores que, que comer.
laid the cross and found Flores. Darts into the penalty area, favouring that right foot, but then switching to his left, the shot that's saved by Casper. Marcello Flores. It's an unusual run-up, but it's effective, and the Gunners finally get the lead that their play has deserved. Point at Emirates Stadium. You look like you enjoyed yourself out there tonight. How did you find it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, uh, I think uh, we had a decent team performance. We all uh, worked really hard, did really well. Uh, happy to score the goal as well, and um, happy to point and finish the league, finish the season strong. You mentioned your goal there. Can you talk us through it? It seemed quite quite an instinctive strike from you. Yeah, um, yeah, it was uh, just a reaction off the keeper and getting a final finish to it, really, yeah. And you had a few chances just before that as well. One went just over the bar. Seemed like you were really trying to get trying to get a goal today. Yeah, just really been practicing uh, just individual product, end product. In the final third, just obviously getting that yard for a shot uh, the best I can. But um, yeah, I, th I, I think I tried it today. It uh, came off, didn't come off today, but we I'll keep trying it, yeah. And looking, at your, looking back at your season as a whole, you obviously started with the under-18s and as the season developed, you came into the 23s more. You've really become a regular at this level and you've even made the bench a handful of times for the first team with Mikel. How, have you, how, how do you assess your development this season as a player? Yeah, I think, um, I, think uh, I was uh, not saying anything to big myself up or anything, but I don't think my level was quite 18s this year. So start off the season not very happy. Uh, but obviously just got my head down, worked as hard as I can, try to show what I could do in the 18s that I deserve to be up here in the 23s. And then feel like I uh, came in, ended up getting a bit of minutes and then showing what my qualities were in the 23s and obviously ended up in starting and getting a couple of goals this season to con contribute for the team. And how do you feel at this level now that you've sort of had a, had a fair few months playing at 23s? So are you feeling comfortable at this yeah, level? Yeah, I feel more comfortable. I'm trying to get, push myself on to first team level. Obviously, I've been in and around Mexican first team with around internationally but yeah I'm trying to bring what I learned there here and obviously what I learned there and just trying to push both to get to first team however I can. You mentioned your experience with the Mexican national team there. Fans non-stop are asking us about you playing for the national team with Mexico. How do you find that experience? Uh, yeah uh, it's amazing the, the fans there in Mexico are uh, more than more than normal they just give me so much support um, and yeah I just uh, gives me a lot of confidence when I come here and also when I go there just feeling happy playing. Got your sights set on the World Cup? Uh, no, nah, just working my hardest trying to prove them why that I can be, that I have a chance to go obviously do my best I can so give them, show them what I can do so maybe they could bring me. And just back to ask them finally, what are some of your goals you've got now that the season ended, you can take stock and reflect on how you've done, what are some of your goals looking ahead to next season? Um, Obviously, I'm um, trying to increase the number of goals always, goals and assists. Obviously, it's a very important nowadays game, but uh, yeah, I just I feel like I I started off okay, decent amount of goals this year, but I think I could have got many more and uh, be pushing for much more next year.